So Mont Blanc haven't been around for a very long time. However, they are now associated with a brand that has a very long heritage, and that is Minerva. Essentially, Richemont, the parent company of Mont Blanc, bought Minerva, and they essentially gave it to Mont Blanc, and that's why they came out with watches that are in their heritage collection. Even though they haven't been making watches very long, they've been making pens for a very long time, leather goods as well. However, watches they just started making in the 90s, yet they have a heritage collection. So that heritage collection is actually inspired by Minerva. I have one of those watches to show you today. I've actually featured another one of their watches on my channel. That was a chronograph that was also inspired by Minerva. I really do like their heritage collection. So it comes with an outer box. The outer box is just a white outer box, typical Mont Blanc box. It is cardboard. Inner box is a leather box. And I'll show you that in just a second. It comes with a giant uh, guide to service and it also has information on the brand. Uh, there's, uh, it's a lot. It's a big, heavy booklet. Uh, and then it comes with also a uh, Mont Blanc Laboratory Test 500. This gets tested for 500 hours. Uh, and it is part of the Heritage Chronometer Collection, Automatic GMT, MB2405. And we'll talk about that caliber in just a minute. But it says certified by the 500-hour experts. Uh, and it is signed, physically signed by the person who actually tests the watch. And then on top of that, you get information on the strap. This comes on an alligator strap. It's either alligator or crocodile. I don't remember which one. However, this gives you information on the actual leather strap because it is a Mont Blanc branded leather strap. It's a very nice leather strap that comes on here. So as I mentioned, it is a leather box. It has just a little metal enclosure right there. Uh, inside is leather and then it is made out of cardboard and wood, I would say probably. It's not that heavy, but it's nice. Uh, there's just a little tag on here that just says Mont Blanc and that is it. Uh, pillow. Uh, and let me just put the box aside and here is the watch and you can see this is a silver white dial i'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you could see there are blue accents on here it's actually really hard to see uh, on the camera i'll do close-ups of the watch so you guys could see these accents but quickly let me zoom in the camera so here is the watch and you can see that mont blanc paid a lot of attention to the dial the dials on these watches, on the GMT watches, are absolutely beautiful. And they made a few different colors. This is the white dial. I also have the salmon dial here as well. I'm going to show this one in a later video. I'm going to do an unboxing and talk about that one at a later date. Uh, I just wanted to do this one because this actually has to go out to somebody uh, and I wanted to show you guys before I send it out. So it has a white dial on the track where the actual markers are, so there's uh, 12, 9, 6, and 3, uh, there are little dots as well. That is a track that is sort of textured. It's sort of like a pebble texture. On the inside, you sort of have a brush texture. So that circle that's on the inside that says Mont Blanc uh, has that uh, sort of little bit of a metallic sort of brush texture. And then on the outer portion of the dial, you get blue. It's the same blue that the GMT hand is in, uh, and it's a track, a minute track in blue, and then you get that uh, hand that is in blue as well. There is loom on the dial, there's loom on the hands, there's just little dots of loom by each indice. They aren't on the indice, they're next to the indice on that outer track, which is really cool. And then you have just a little bit of loom on each one of those sort of like dagger hands, I would call them, very, very nice. The dial is slightly domed as well, and you get a domed sapphire crystal on here. It's a thin watch. It's not a very big watch either. Uh, let's do quick measurements. The measurements on here, uh, 40 millimeters, basically 39.9, 39.8, depending on how you actually grab the case. And then a lug to lug. You do have pretty long lugs on here, but it's really not that bad. Uh, 47.8 and then like I said it is pretty thin and that is because 11.8 millimeters that's including the very domed and raised sapphire crystal so 
Uh, it does add a little bit of uh, girth to the watch, but inside you are getting a Salita SW330, I believe it is, uh, which is basically the ETA version or the Salita version of the ETA 2895, which is the uh, GMT version of the 2892 or the Salita SW300. So the higher grade Salita movement, uh, and obviously uh, it is a thinner movement because of that, and you uh, definitely reap the benefits in the actual profile of the case. Uh, the crown on here is actually sizable, and it is signed with the My, uh, Mont Blanc logo. Uh, 440 millimeter watch, really not that bad. Uh, 6.4, 6.3 millimeters, especially since this is technically a dress GMT. Um, also, the strap on here, the strap is phenomenal. This is a gray strap. It's dark gray on the outside, light gray on the inside, and then you have a beautiful signed Mont Blanc buckle. Uh, on the underside, it is signed Mont Blanc. This is from Mont Blanc Manufacturer, so this is something that they actually make. I believe these are made in Italy uh, versus, uh, you know, Germany or Switzerland, so that's where theirs, those are made. And then, as I was mentioning at the top of the video, the Minerva factory so they actually engrave the minerva factory on the back of the watch sort of paying homage to those watches that it is inspired by so these are inspired by old references from minerva now is this a minerva no it says mont blanc on the dial does not say minerva anywhere on the dial however there are a few different versions of these watches with these dials now there's one with a small seconds that gets that salmon dial that I just showed you that I believe they were selling for like $38,000 or no, excuse me, it was $18,000. Uh, and that had a small seconds because it had a Minerva movement in it. It was actually new old stock movements that they found. I believe they were from the 90s, but they were really finished high end uh, to a point where they were high end movements. Uh, and you could see it from the back. So this wasn't here, it was basically uh, the exact same watch with the small seconds. However, with the display case back, where you could see that Minerva movement, I'll throw pictures of that watch up. A phenomenal watch. They were selling it for $18,000. So, um, but this looks pretty much 99% of the part of that watch uh, without you having to spend that much money. Now, these are still pretty expensive though. I believe that this watch originally retailed for $2,950 or $2,850, somewhere in that neighborhood. So these are not cheap watches, but the attention to detail is really incredible on them. It is not a true GMT. It is a office GMT, not a traveler's GMT. Uh, so it is pretty expensive either way at that $3,000 price point. There are definitely watches out there that you can get that are cheaper. Uh, Tribus was a watch that I just recently purchased with a very similar movement to this as a Soprod, but they were also selling other watches with this exact movement in it, and they were selling them for a lot cheaper. But the thing is here that, number one, you're getting a very nice strap on here. These are very expensive straps. Also, this is made by a major company, a major manufacturer. Uh, this is a brand that is trying to be sort of an affordable JLC. Uh, they're getting compared to much higher end watch brands. Uh, Watchfinder & Co. just did a comparison of a Mont Blanc to a Patek Philippe. There are a lot of people out there gaining a lot of respect for this brand uh, with good reason. And I am one of them. I'm a big fan of them. In fact, this is my watch right here. This is not my watch. This is my watch. Um, and I'm really excited about this. I'm going to be doing an unboxing on this salmon dial. I'm super excited about it. I love it. Anyway, so that's that. I'm going to show it to you on my wrist. Uh, and then we will do a quick loom shot and then we'll wrap up the video. But I'm going to be doing another video on that salmon dial because uh, really I think that's the better of the pair especially the dial on here. The dial is absolutely phenomenal. It's a copper dial, not really a salmon dial. It's a salmon colored dial, but it's it's really like a copper tone. Today I have on Tutima. This is the Tutima 7Cs. This is the M2 7Cs. It is a titanium integrated bracelet, 500 meter dive watch from a German brand 
that's been around for a very long time. They're a very small brand and they make some really, really cool watches. And this is a really cool watch. Uh, and really not that badly priced. It's actually quite affordable. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. So, uh, well not just a second, I'll actually be making a video about that and, and releasing that pretty soon actually. Uh, but here is the 40 millimeter heritage model from Mont Blanc on my wrist. Now they make a time only on this. They make it in the GMT, they make it in the small section seconds, they make it in a chronograph, they make it in two different versions of the chronograph, they make it with a Minerva movement, which that one is in the $38,000 range, I think, and then they make it in a uh, mono pusher, um, I believe, uh, Salida powered, I think it's like an SW510 version, and that one is actually kind of affordable, I think they're around $4,500 or something like that. Um, they make it in this white dial, they also make it in that salmon dial, and you also have the option of a mesh bracelet. I have the mesh bracelet for mine. Um, it's not the mesh bracelet that actually came with it, it's a different one, but I have one that fits it, so it looks almost exactly the same, so I'll show it to you on a bracelet when we do the unboxing on that one. But you can see this is a beautiful, beautiful strap. It's semi-glossy, it's not matte, but it has just a satin finish. Um, and it doesn't really uh, shine a lot. It looks really good, very understated. Um, 40 millimeters, 11 and change thick on my seven and a half inch wrist. Looks really classic, very nicely sized. It actually wears a little bit bigger than 40 millimeters. I would say it wears like a 41 millimeter uh, because of those long lugs, I think. And um, that dome sapphire crystal adds a little bit to it as well. So it definitely wears a little bit bigger than that. That curved uh dial the the beautiful dome sapphire crystal that is raised um just looks really really classic anyway really quickly a loom shot and then we'll wrap up the video so technically this is a dress watch i'm not unimpressed with this i think it's actually impressive that they put loom they put loom on every single indice obviously this is a dateless watch which i love they loom the hands as well hour and minute hands this looks good in fact that it has loom is a good thing. This is technically a dress watch. As I mentioned, it's a dressy GMT, not meant for any sort of sport. And you have loom on here, which is great. And it's very classically done. They did it really well. They didn't add it on top of the actual indices, which would have sort of, I guess, saved space on the dial. Uh, but what they did was they executed it very well. They didn't clutter the dial at the same time they added separate areas of loom for the uh, actual indices. Excellent choice. I think they did a great job with this dial. Um, the overall package of this watch is incredible. Just a beautiful watch um, and uh, a watch that I absolutely am in love with and I really love that salmon dial. Uh, I think the silver dial is really nice, uh, but I think that the, uh, the salmon dial takes it up a, a complete new level um, and uh, it's, it's definitely a watch that I am very excited about. I'll be doing a full unboxing of that watch, as I mentioned, in the very near future. Anyway, tell me what you think of this watch in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is very helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.